Are you stuck at home with no equipment? Well, come join me, DLB Daily. We are doing body weight only workout. But right now, we are doing the first seven days for free. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the DLB Daily Home Edition. We're mm. about to get Quarren burned. I feel like we should be on HGTV. HGTV Home Edition Workout Edition starring Rob Bailey and Kaya. Special guest, Dana Lynn Bailey. We got some circuit work today. It's all body weight stuff. No equipment needed. You're just going to use your body. So let's get to it. All right, today's circuit work, we broke it down into areas. So we have a lower body circuit, we will have a core circuit in between, and then upper body to finish it out. And then at the very end, we'll also be hitting core. So lower body, core, upper body, core, and then you're done. So first up, we have four movements for our lower body circuit. You're doing three rounds, 12 reps each. First things first is we're gonna get you moving. We're gonna be jumping up and down a little bit in a good way. Are you ready? Yep. All right, so first movement is, uh, we've do, done this a lot, but we're just adding a little jump to it. So we're doing a jumping reverse lunge, reverse lunge squat. So in a jumping pattern. So you're gonna kind of stay in that squat position as you move. So you're reverse, reverse, squat, reverse, reverse, squat, reverse, reverse, squat. One rep is a lunge, One, lunge, yeah. squat. So counting so squats, right? Yeah, so every time you squat, that'll be one rep. So, yeah. yeah you, you get nervous doing it for the first time. Especially when you're in the second story and you're hoping he doesn't fall through I'm, the floor. I've lost a lot of weight. Still. <laughs> I'm very uh, nimble. Oh, damn! Let's go. I feel like I'm in a dance video. I feel like Do you I'm need a, music? I feel like I'm in a rap video. Cue the rap music. Oh, okay. All right, so we can. pretty much catch, it, catch. Squat, catch, catch, oh, wow. squat. I gotta stretch. Okay. <laughs> All right, gotcha. So before they even get to this, do a nice dynamic warm up to get yourself moving. Dynamic means on the move. So hit your quad stretches, hit your deep squat. Um, um, pulling up probably should have said that first so start with the dynamic stretch and then we're gonna get to the lower body yeah yep oh, see he forgot what's next <laughs> so 12 reps one rep equals lunge on squat uh, next up is one of my favorite moves um, it's a single leg deadlift now, the reason I call it a deadlift is because you're bending your knee. Um, so you're getting a little more knee bend. So instead of just like a stiff legged -like deadlift, which you're not, you're keeping your knee at that same position, we're gonna bend, come down, touch the floor, up. And then stand all the way up and then stand all the way. I probably shouldn't have said that. So come down, touch the floor, stand all the way up. Squeeze his glutes. Yup. Sorry. Not being creepy, I'm just. And if you want to start adding a little bit knee to chest, a little balance goes into play. A little shout out to Rasta Runner. And then is... we're going. So 12, 12 on each side. So you'll do 12 this side, doing... 12 this side. With a rear leg. Are we so extending back all the way? Extending back. Flex toe. Yeah, I'm and not very good. Ah! And then up. Bend. Up. Bend. Up. So the key here as he's going, this back leg straighten, toe uh, or foot is flexed instead of pointed. Toe flex, back up. Toe flex, back up. So 12 on one side, 12 on the other. Hmm. Next. All right, I don't know if you're gonna like this one. My girls will like this one. Uh, okay, I'm just saying. 
Uh, you're gonna need a side to a couch, or if you actually have um, like a flat bench, it makes it a lot easier. I'm gonna use the side of my couch. This is called a, a frog reverse hyper. The frog means your feet are gonna stay together the whole time uh, in like a frog stance. So you're gonna <laughs> take the side of your couch, you can grab wherever you want. I'm just gonna grab the top. Feet are together. You're gonna come down these knees to, towards the couch and then up. Knees to the couch and then up. Why would I like this? I don't, I don't know, because I feel like guys don't like weird don't. girl booty stuff. Don't. I was, I didn't know. So now you know. I'm into all sorts of weird stuff. Rob likes this move. So feet, hips will be off, feet together, bring them down. Yeah. I see why guys don't like it. There you go. Yeah. Bring them down and then shoot them up. Yep. <clears throat> what about booty action? Yep. <clears throat> you want to zoom in right here? <laughs> I like it. See? Like it. 12 reps on your booty frog reverse hyper extension. That's a lot of words. Reverse hyper. Booty I, frog reverse. I just added the booty. It's a frog reverse hypers. All right. And then last but not least, we're doing a Bulgarian squat with three to five pulses. I put three to five because uh, I liked five, but it will be a lot. So your Bulgarian, foot up on like a couch of some sort. You're gonna come down and then you're gonna pause, or pulse, 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 three to five. I'm gonna do five and then up. So that's one rep. Down, pulse, 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 up. So start with three. If you wanna do a little extra, do five. So down, one, two, three, up. Down, one, two, three, up. 12 each leg. 12 each leg. And that's the circuit. So you got three rounds, 12 of each exercise. Rest 90 seconds between each round. It's a good set. It's a good workout. Your butt is going to like it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm new here. <laughs> I'm, I'm no, new here, but I'm actually... Um, he's lived here. We've lived here together for the last three. No, I'm, uh, but I'm new to these workouts. These are actually really good workouts. I know. Not that I doubted you, but I've been they're, telling him. They're very creative. They're very good. I'm impressed. They're, they hit every body part. Yeah. So I'm just saying, I do a good job. Let's go. I've been trying to get him to do this for many weeks I'm gonna now. I'm going to do them. I didn't realize they were this good. And now he's finally here, I guys. I thought we were just doing like push-ups and sit-ups. No. I didn't realize you had like I'm not rhythm. boring. I um, right. think outside the box. So, Let's go. All right, enough talking. Let's go. I'm impossible to impress Send the checks to my new address Pain is full, I got no stress This isn't personal, it's business Man I bleed for it My blood looks like sweet glory My sweat is equity, never paid a bee for it No backs on my seats, I only lean forward Haven't left the studio in five days, that's endurance Get that money, man, stay turning, don't call me lucky No, it's not always sunny, boots get bloody Go harder, go home yeah. It's my honor, all hard work, I'm no scholar Put my boots on and button up my blue collar I got the sugar and the hunger of a young boxer Hustle in my blood, thank Darwin and my father Wake up before the sun to start my process I'm addicted and obsessed with the process You see success like the Loch Ness I see the challenge and I say, man, I got this But I'm picking at the problems and probably making it worse I'm patching up the weakness before they hit that shit first They wanna get the riches, but they don't wanna work That laziness is basically a curse
So one, one round down, 90 seconds rest, two more to go. Oh wow. All right, before we get to our upper body circuit, we're gonna switch gears, do two rounds, 30 seconds each, two movements. First movement is a plank to pike slide or hop. Um, so I'm gonna put my socks back on and we're gonna do, I'm gonna do slides. Um, if you don't have an area where you can slide, then you can just do, I'll show you the hops. So you're just doing pi uh, plank to pike. Plank to pike. Plank to pike. If you don't have, if you don't have slidable area, then you're just going boom, boom, boom. Hey, bunny rabbit. Boom. <laughs> so keep your core nice and tight. Don't let your back or your belly sag. Second movement, if you do this with a partner, you can use your partner. I'm gonna use your legs, you're gonna stand here. If you don't have a partner, I will also show you that. So we call these, we do, I call them Dragon Ball Z's. What is it, the dragonflies? Oh, dragonflies, yeah. So we're doing a dragonfly, but then we're just staying in one spot and then you're just going to do leg switches. Woo. So if you have a partner, you're going to use your partner as something to hold on to. I start up, then come right about 45, I guess, degrees. And then you just switch, 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 switch. If you don't have a partner, find something that you like I would just use this. Probably not on a hard ground, but get a yoga mat. And you just grab behind, start up, bring your legs out. Thirty seconds. Oh. Um. Uh, right. <laughs> Before I go, look okay, at That's it. Two movements. Two rounds, 30 seconds each, 60 seconds rest in between the rounds. We're gonna find a yoga mat. seconds rest and then you have one more round of that and then we're not done we're about halfway we're about halfway next up you're gonna need two chairs to rest a little bit before we go <laughs> <laughs> so now we are on upper body circuit we have five movements and we're gonna need some things that you have around your house so we need two chairs uh, preferably something like a dining room chair, which is slightly a little bit lower. Um, unless you have dumbbells at the house, you could turn the dumbbells uh, so that they're upright and use dumbbells instead or blocks, which I highly doubt anyone have blocks. Um, or push-up handles. Again, something that probably- Show them. Um, so anyway, I'll stop talking. So five movements, uh, three rounds, 12 reps of each exercise. So we're gonna do the hardest one first, which is I didn't have anything to call them. So they're chair push up to shoulder extension. So get your two chairs. They're gonna be right about like shoulder width apart. You're gonna get into a plank position. You do your push up. And since you're up top, I want you to go as low as you can so you're getting extra range of motion on this. So all the way down, push up, extra range of motion, up, swing through, hips up. Come back down, push up. And that swing through should be maximum shoulder mobility. Point the toes, flex the quads, and throw the hips as high as you can. High as you can. Back it's... down, range of motion. Hers is a lot more flexible than mine, so you'll feel better about yourself when you see me. All right. Show them a rep. Show them a rep? Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> 
Everybody get ready. Get ready. Ooh. Swing them through. Hips up. Oh. I don't know, that looks like mine. Swing it. Okay. Don't wear yourself out yet. On to number two of the circuit, which, no surprise, inverted row, but knee to chest. So take one of your chairs. So I do an underhand grip for the inverted row. Find some sort of table. I prop my feet up. So every time you pull up, you're gonna alternate knee to chest. So knee, down, knee, down. Oh, just hit my forehead. <laughs> Dangerous <laughs> They pull too high. What's the weight limit on this machine? Um, I think you're at the top range. What if you go up this way? Not on the corner. I'm gonna opt out of this one. All right, you do pull-ups. All right, because I'm too heavy for the I'm too heavy for the dining room table. I'm, I don't like that this is making a noise. Gotcha. Would you even be able to do it this way? Like if your feet are down? Oh no, it's still my feet. Yeah, I'm gonna opt out of that. All right, he's doing pull-ups. From that. Doing pull-ups from up here. Pull-ups. There's a little secret little pull-up spot. Pull-up station. If you don't want to do that, I have one other option. What's the other option? Okay. All right. So, I'm always down to learn. All right. Learning on the fly here. Last, uh, third option, <laughs> inverted rows, knee to chest, regular pull-ups, or I've been doing uh, supermans. Um, if you want to grab something, you can, or you don't have to. So you're coming up, superman, pull down, pull up, down. So each one of these, yeah. So I did these, I, I held a towel. So I stretched out the towel so it gave me like a little bit of tension on my shoulders. Hold the towel, pull down, pull out. You wanna do those instead? I think so, they look cool, I don't know. Should I just change it? Change no. my circuit for you? <sighs> pull down. Oh wow. All right. That actually works. I'll do it too. Who thought? I'm gonna go into my little computer. You're fake timing. <laughs> That's so fast, I think. Do you I, hear I like, that? I like that movement, cool. All right, changing it up. We're gonna delete, deleting inverted row. And those are, I'm calling them Superman pull downs. It's in the computer. Now it's official on your workout. <laughs> oh, I dig that. Yeah. All right, so Superman pull downs. Um, I might grab a towel. I like just having a towel, sort of like a pull down bar. And it just adds a little tension on your rear delt and even your medial delts a little bit. And so you're doing 12 of them. After that, I need my chair back. Although, since Rob Bailey's here, we might need higher chairs. Get your two stools, if you have higher stools or just higher chairs of some sort. And your tuck means you're just staying in your tuck position. Come down and up, down, up. I can't talk when I do these. <laughs> Don't talk with those. So tuck dips. This is the harder option. Um, We've done dips a lot of times, like a billion times. We've been doing these workouts for like a month now. So I'm just trying to show you different variations to make things harder. So if you don't have higher stools like this, then you can either use your two chairs or even a coffee table, bring your feet out, bum pretty much all the way to the ground, try to get full range of motion, depending on how high you're using. This is kind of low, so I can get pretty low. So you'll just do your tricep dips this way. This is just, yeah, it's a little harder. Well, not a little harder, it's a lot harder. So 
If you don't have stools, tricep dips from your coffee table. <laughs> All right. Oh, next. <laughs> Where am I? Oh. Why are you doing trades? Because I know that they're hard. Okay. Plank, hip dip, knee to elbow. Side plank? Side plank, hip dip, which adds a little shoulder extension. We need to move these. So we're gonna go hip dip, up, knee to elbow. Um, one of the main things with these guys that you want to do is you're trying to get a, like a stretch through your serratus here. That's where the hip dip comes into play. So if you don't want to be here, you want to be like almost on top of your shoulder. Makes it nice and hard. That's what she said. Don't, don't you dare. You should feel like a stretch through here. Is that right? Up, hip dip. So Ooh, you would no. think this is more, I mean, it's obviously a core exercise, but I get probably the most out of my shoulder. So it's good shoulder mobility, good stretch through the lat. I honestly, most of the time, my shoulder gives out before my abs give out. So it's a, it's a full body little exercise here. So one more time, and then you'll be doing 12 per side. So then you go on that side, so like he was saying, keep your arm pretty close to you. Up, hip dip, and then elbow to knee. Oh, I already feel it in my shoulder. Cool. And right. last but not least. There's more? Last thing. It's one of my favorite exercises. It's the push up, push back. Um, for lack of a better word for it. So from the ground, you're going push up and then you're pushing back into, what yoga pose is that? I don't um, know the names of anything. It's almost- It's almost like a child pose. It's almost like a child's pose, but it's, you, you don't- you don't. But you're not going to, your knees aren't touching the ground. So um, I like to, get slightly elevated. It just adds a little bit extra to my shoulders. So coming down, pushing back. Oh, rug is moving. <laughs> pushing. I'm gonna not go on the rug. Oh, there we go. Have your partner stand on the rug. So, <sighs> cues here um, is when you push, you're not pushing up and then throwing back. As you come up, you're sending your butt back. So you're pushing back with your shoulders. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. so it's a chest. Yeah, chest, chest shoulders, movement, shoulder core. Movement. So down, when I come up, I'm pushing back. You're dropping your head between your biceps, right? And drop your head. That's gonna help with shoulder mobility. Ooh yeah. All right. This is a more shoulders probably than chest than anything. Yeah. All right, that's the circuit. I look like I already did it, but I didn't. So three rounds, 12 reps of each exercise. Oh, now we gotta do it. <laughs> so much clapping. <laughs>
up. Good. Very good. Now bring your knee hip, to your hip. chest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Push up, push back. Okay. Done. Rest 90 seconds. Two more to go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, three rounds of that. <laughs> what was I thinking? So, our final movement is a 90 second plank. Um, if you want to do more than that, I am definitely agreeing that you should do more. But 90 second minimum, 90 seconds to two minutes. Uh, big cues here for your plank is I know I know when I was taught how to plank I was taught to keep your back flat and to keep everything obviously stiff but your back to be flat so this is how I was taught keep everything nice and flat what I want you guys to do is round so that you're actually crunching on your stomach so instead of this you're gonna round your upper back and crunch. You're gonna hold it there for 90 seconds. That little movement of rounding your back, I know you think rounding your back, oh, it's so terrible, but you're creating like a crunch position that whole time and it's gonna take that plank and make it harder. So, and we're done. And then you're done. All right, let's do it then, come on. So, Let's do this. 90 second point. Set your timers, Kaya. Kaya's doing it too. Ready, go. We held that for 10 minutes. We just sped through it so that it only looked like a minute and a half, but it was 10. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. I know this is not an ideal situation to not have a gym to go to, but you can still get a really good workout just using your body weight. So I hope that you take these movements and add them to your training or just do exactly what I tell you to do and you'll get the job done. So I'm not signed up with your site. What? Yeah, I'm not signed up. Why not? I don't know. Is there, can I do a free trial? Oh, yes you can. So we are doing the first seven days for free. So come try it out. I post two workouts a day. One for people that have like a set of dumbbells or resistance bands or a barbell. So I do one limited equipment workout and then one home zero equipment workout or maybe a chair. You might need a chair too. Um, so those are posted every single day. Come sign up, go to danalynbailey.com, try it out seven days for free. If you end up and you hate me after it and it's, I get it, I understand. So come try it out. I will not disappoint you, right? You don't disappoint. No, I don't disappoint. So come try it out. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed your body weight workout.